Hey everyone, it's Mike the Tech. Welcome to another uh, Game Maker Studio 2 top down shooter tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to adjust our controls a bit to enable mouse control. Um, I'm going to add our HP to our plane, that way we could visually tell um, how much health we have left. And um, yeah, we'll see what else we can add after that. Alright, so we're going to go to our object player and go to our create event and this is where we have um, actually we'll go to our step event this is where we have our uh, movement so we have up down oh excuse me left and right now my eyes are gonna be all red for the for the video that's all right so we want to track the mouse controls so we're gonna drag in and assign variable in here and the variable we're going to assign first is x because we want to change our x coordinate and the value for that we're just going to type in mouse underscore x and now if we hit play our plane is following our mouse so if I hold the shoot button I could aim really easily for these ones using the mouse but it's only moving on our x axis and I'm pretty sure you guys can tell what we're going to do um, for the y-axis. Because we can still move up and down with the arrow keys. But we can't do that with the, um, with the mouse. So this is obviously good for um, this style of game where we can only move left and right. But let's exit this and add one more assigned variable. We're going to say this is y. And we're going to name use uh, the value mouse y and now when we hit play uh, we can actually move our plane around anywhere on the screen and it looks much more fluid and um, it's a lot easier to control and grab stuff and jump over to the other side of the screen um, it's just a really great way to adjust your control method so right now I can basically shoot anywhere right so that's cool but we need to see our HP so we'll go to the draw section of this by adding an event and we'll go to draw and we're just gonna go to draw alright so now we can do the draw self action because you always have to draw self when you create a new draw event and then we're gonna draw some text so we'll call this HP and we will use the variable value HP and uh, we'll make this 0 0 relative to the player so let's hit play and see what happens so now we have HP um, to the right kind of of our player so we can change a few more uh, things here to make it look a little better because it looks kind of funky so we can set the uh, alignment uh, let's see. set text alignment and we're gonna make this center and middle and now when we hit play it should show up in the center of our plane yep and then we'll exit this now we're going to set font and um, let's see is there a size I don't think there's a set font size um, nope so we're gonna actually create another font so we will uh, duplicate this font and we're gonna say we want to make it a lot smaller and uh, that's why so we'll choose that font and then we'll move it up a little bit so let's add 25 to this and see what happens uh, it looks like it's going kind of the wrong direction so let's put negative and we'll do 50 this time Alright, so now our HP is above our plane, 
um, which looks kind of cool, but maybe it should go below now that I think about it. So we'll put this at 60, not negative, but we'll just put it at 60. And let's hit play again. Cool. That looks all right. And now if we get hit, we can actually tell how much HP we have left before we die, which is very, very useful. Uh, let's see. And we also need to change our um, font over here in score because if you notice um, when we hit play, the score in the top left is actually misaligned because it changed it to uh, center middle. So we just have to find out where we put our score, I believe object control. And we're going to change the alignment back on this. So right after set font, we're going to drag text alignment in and leave it at left top. And that's it play. And yep, now the score is properly set up there and the HP is properly set up. So now let's, um, you can't really shoot when you click the mouse. So I think that'd be a good thing to add next. So let's go to our player again, and uh, we have key down space, and that checks the laser cooldown and basically shoots a laser. Well, we can actually right click on this and duplicate this event and put it down for left down. And now when we hit play, if I hold the mouse button down, it's actually shooting non-stop and I don't even have to have my hand on the keyboard to completely play the game. Uh, let's see. That's good. That's good. HP is working great. So um, now we have a visual HP bar. We have a score and we can shoot and control our plane with a mouse. So, uh, let's go ahead and add another enemy type. Let's see, object enemy 1. We can duplicate. And we'll call this enemy 3. And we're going to make this enemy the same as enemy 1. Excuse me, again. Except every second it's going to shoot a bullet so we will add an event actually in the create event we can actually start the alarm so let's type in alarm here and we're going to set this to 60 and uh, so that every second it's going to shoot a bullet and we will add an event for that alarm Alarm zero. And uh, let's see. We're going to need to create a laser that shoots up. So I think I'm going to have to download the asset pack again from Kenny.nl. So let's go ahead and do that. So I am just using Kenny.nl's uh, asset packs. He does great stuff. We're going to write shooter here. And we're going to use a space shooter redux pack. It just has a bunch of great um, assets inside of it. I'm going to extract this. All right. So let's import a laser for our enemy. So our enemy is green, so we're going to need a green laser, obviously. So we'll import, we'll go to downloads, space shooter, PNG, lasers, and we'll choose this green one. Actually, we'll choose this green one. There we go. Now, uh, we'll, we'll call this enemy laser. Good. And 
we will go in and create an object for it. So we'll right click on objects and create object. We're going to choose our laser. And how fast is our laser going? Our laser is going at a speed of 15. So for our enemy laser, we're going to keep that at 15 as well. So we'll make a create event. And we're going to set the direction and speed. So I will choose set direction to downwards. Set the speed to 15. And then since this one's kind of um, uh, pointed in a direction, we can also rotate. Let's see. And we'll set this to 180. That way it flips it around. And uh, now that we did that, Let's also make sure that it deletes itself after it leaves the room. So we'll say if it's outside of the room, destroy instance, that'll destroy itself. And we're going to go back to enemy three and we're going to spawn that new laser. And it's called object 10 right now, which I forgot to name it. So we'll call this enemy laser. OBJ okay. So now we'll go to our object enemy, choose OBJ enemy laser relative to itself. And um, since we have a 60 second alarm countdown, we'll actually restart that alarm countdown. Uh, let's see. I always lose stuff. Let's start alarm. And we'll set it back to 60. So we've made an enemy that shoots bullets now. We just need to spawn it. So we'll go to our object control level one. And um, we'll change spawning enemy one to spawn enemy three to test it out. So let's hit play. So now we have um, enemies that shoot lasers and it shoots a laser every second um, it's a little predictable which isn't good so um, we're actually going to adjust that as well so let's go into our object enemy 3 and for the alarm countdown I love random range random is a great function so we're going to type random and you'll do random range so it's random underscore range and we're gonna go from 45 at the lowest to uh, 90 and uh, we can copy and paste this so we'll highlight all that go to our alarm and put the same thing here and this is gonna randomize how often uh, the enemy shoots bullets so it's less predictable and harder to dodge So now we have a bullet randomizer for enemies and um, HP displays uh, and all kinds of good stuff. So let's save this here and it looks like we're on about 13, 14 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it here and uh, be sure to stay tuned for more videos. Thanks so much for watching. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, be sure to support me on Patreon and you'll get your name in every video produced while you're a supporter. And you'll also get access to project files for all of our game projects, including Game Salad, Game Maker Studio 2, Unity, and Unreal Engine. Uh, they're not quite all up there yet, but I am uploading them and I am um, organizing all that now for you. So be sure to jump over to Patreon and support me. And uh, thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of the series. Peace.